Okay, today we're going to be demonstrating the wheelchair chest. The patient, of course, coming in is uh, not ambulatory, they're going to be in a wheelchair. Our routine views are going to be the AP view and also the labyrinth. We're going to take a film size that's going to be 14 by 17. We'll be put behind the patient crosswise. Okay. We are going to make sure that we put the shield on the patient. Okay. We want to have the film approximately one and a half inches above the top of the shoulders. Our SID will be 72 inches, and the reason for our 72 inch SID, we're trying to reduce uh, the magnification of the heart and lungs as much as we possibly can. The technical factors for the AP view will be 96 kV at 2 mass, that's just an average. So we're going to center up. Our centering for this patient for an AP view is going to be from the jugular notch. We're going to go down about three to four inches, which should be about the level of T7. Okay, we do want to have the patient, just like on the PA view, to bring their roll their shoulders forward and relax them down. And we do want it to move to be to the side because we don't want to actually, when we do the X-ray, to see them on the uh, the film. We do want to make sure that the chin of the patient is up. And then we want to use our marker placement. We'll be, you can use either marker. we we'll use the left marker here on the left side. I want to make sure it is in the light field and it's not obstructing any pertinent information. Okay. We're going to angle the tube about five degrees cot ed. Uh, we're going to make it, we need to make it perpendicular to the, uh, the stern is what we're trying to do. And the angle of the stern is going to be a little bit angled this way. And so we want to take and try to angle so that we don't actually, uh, we want to try and have the clavicles uh, below the apices of the lung. And it will tends to throw them down so that we don't have a lordotic looking chest x-ray. Calmation will be to the skin margins side to side and we do want to make sure we have a little bit of collimation above the shoulder Again, the marker placement is here her respirations will be on second full inspiration so she'll take a deep breath in blow that breath out and she'll take another deep breath in and hold it and then we would make our exposure we hope to see on an AP chest at least eight to nine uh, ribs should be seen on the AP view. Uh, on a PA, we're trying to see 10 to 12, but because of the patient sitting in the chair, it tends to push up the anatomy so that the lungs are not able to expand anymore because the, lung, the diaphragm does not lower enough for it to uh, expand. So this is our AP chest x-ray in a wheelchair. <clears throat> now we're going to do our lateral chest x-ray. If you'll do it forward for me, please. Sorry if I pulled your hair. We're going to do this in the bucky, the upright bucky. Film will be lengthwise for the lateral. We're going to turn the patient. I am going to use a sponge behind the patient's back, so she's going to lean forward. And what we're going to try and do with that is we're going to try to get her so we don't actually get the wheelchair in the way. Now, on wheelchairs that do have removable handles, we do want to take them out. This is what always happens. <laughs> I can't get it out. No. Hopefully, you won't have to work that hard to get it out. Yeah, you 
Okay. Now you have to be careful when you lower the, lower the bucky because of the wheel and everything being outside here. You've got to be careful so that you're not actually putting it on it. sometimes can take a couple of times of actually lowering it to getting it as low as you need it to go. The film again should be about one and a half inches above the shoulder. I'm going to scoot it as close as I can. The patient will scoot as close as she can to the, to the side. You are going to have some increased OID here just because where the wheel stands out and getting her close enough to the bucket. We will use a 72 inch SID. You can feel the vertebral prominence and go seven, but on a female, seven inches down to give you your centering. Or you can use again the vertebral, I'm sorry, the jugular notch, go three to four inches down from that. And that will be your level around T7. Okay, if you would bring your arms up over your head for me. Now, I am for the lateral going to move the shield to the side. I'm going to center to the MSP, or I'm sorry, the MCP. I usually verify by putting my hand behind the patient's back, looking at where the film is, just verifying that yes, I do have all the front. I'm sorry, all the back, and then looking at the front, again, to make sure the collimation has included everything there. I do have to center to my film. Okay. The technical factors for this will be just like the regular chest, lateral chest x-ray, 117 to 125, automatic exposure control. We will be using center cell. Respirations again will be on second full inspiration. The patient will take a deep breath in, blow it out, take another deep breath in, and hold it. We are going to make sure that the patient is as straight as possible before we make exposure. And this is our lateral chest x ray for a wheelchair stick chest. And then you want to make sure on a chest x ray that there are no foreign bodies. For the AP and for the lateral, you want to make sure that all necklaces are taking off. Make sure that there are, uh, if, if it's a female, if they have a bra on, they remove the bra uh, because of the underwires and the hooks will show up. If they have uh, glasses or a shirt on, even uh, a shirt that has buttons on it needs to be taken off. You can relax your arms. Because all those things can actually, the density of them can actually show up and they will obscure uh, pertinent anatomy in the x-ray. This is our wheelchair chest x-ray.